Right. So where, uh, where's Paige? I don't see her around anymore. Oh, I'm certain she'll make an appearance. Oh, I'm sorry, Elliot. That took longer than I expected. Did you get everything straightened out? Yes, I think so. Where's Dennis? His luncheon guests arrived. They're in the dining room. He's with Peter. Well, she must be as surprised as I was. I just hope Dennis isn't getting in over his head. What makes you think that he might be? Peter Parnell. Something about him. Do you think it's a legitimate film deal that Parnell is offering? Well, with Peter, you really never know, but uh, my feeling is it's probably all right. Elliot, what would you think about having lunch in the bar today? The bar? Yeah, I think it would be kind of nice for a change, don't you? Well, would it make it easier for you to keep an eye on things? Well, Alfredo's in charge. Well, then but I'd just I... as soon have lunch in here if it's all the same with you. I was hoping that Dennis could join us when he finishes his business. All right. Well, shall we? Rena. It's all right, I'm here now. I didn't know where you were. I was at the office, honey. Beth called me. What are you so upset about? Oh, Mama, I can't stand it anymore. I just want him to leave me alone. Was Justin here? I tried to push him out of the... I tried to slam the door, but he just came uh, right. racing in here. I just... Uh, sweetheart, just calm down. Now, what did he want? I don't know. I think he wants me to stop blaming him for Matt. Why don't you? Because he's responsible. Pull back a little, stop accusing him, and he'll leave you alone. He won't, Mama. Honey, I... I think your behavior towards Justin is encouraging him to act this way. Forget about seeking revenge. He's got to be punished for killing Max. Maybe, uh... Maybe Daddy can have him arrested. For what? I don't care for what. For drunken driving, for speeding, Daddy will arrange something. They'll bring him down to the police station. Maybe they'll put him in jail. And then when he's released, Daddy can have him booked on something else. Uh, and then we'll Rena, get Rena, your father will not harass Justin that way. He would never do that to anyone. He'd do it for me. Honey, I understand how upset you are about Justin, but having him arrested... He should have been arrested for killing Max, but he wasn't. Now he's free to, to make millions of dollars, to steal oil from other people, to take Kate's the ranch away oh, from all her. All right, now, that's what enough, are... Rena. You have got to forget about Justin. Look what it's doing to you. Forget about him so you can get on with your own life. He won't forget about me. He won't leave me alone. Yes, he will. That's something your father and I can take care of. And I promise you, he will not show up here again. I'm sorry for shouting at you like that. I certainly didn't mean to take my anger out on you. I know that, honey. Now, I am going to talk to Justin right now. I won't be gone long, and if there's anything you need, Beth is here. All right? I think I might like a glass of white wine. Yes, uh, same for me. Thank you. And is there anything special you can recommend? Does it bother you seeing Dennis with Peter Parnell? Oh, just a little. Yes, it bothers me too, a little. I keep telling myself it shouldn't, that Dennis can take care of himself, but. Are you all right, Paige? Yes. Yes, I'm fine, Elliot, really. What are you thinking? Oh, it's not really important. About Dennis? Actually, I was thinking about Peter. Are you afraid he's taking advantage of Dennis? I don't know what he's up to, Elliot. Then 
not on the best of terms, are you? I mean, you and Peter, I mean. No, we're not. Does that bother you? Oh, just a little. What I'm trying to tell you is that I do not want to make a typical horror film, you understand? I'm thinking more along the lines of something uh, <clears throat> a lot more uh, substance, soul. You know what I mean? Jack, uh, yeah. did you want to talk to Paige? Oh, is she back? Yeah. Excuse me. Vicki, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Mrs. Bellman. You didn't give my message to Justin. Yes, ma'am, I did. Uh, what message? That you leave my daughter alone. I don't know what game you're playing, Justin, but I want it stopped. Calm down. Your little visit to Rena this afternoon left her in a near state of hysteria, and I will not permit that to happen again. She's having trouble enough coping with Max's death without you harassing her. She's blaming me for Max's death. Precisely why you should stay away from her. The more you antagonize her, the stronger her desire is for revenge. I never meant to antagonize her, Vicky. Well, that's the effect your little visits are having on her, and I want it stopped. Now, if necessary, I will hire guards to protect my house. And if you set one foot on my property, you will be arrested. That won't be necessary. I just wanted to comfort her, but I didn't succeed, so... So you will leave her alone? Yes, I will. You have my word. Your word isn't worth much these days, Justin. Oh, Vicky, by the way, congratulations on your becoming a grandmother. Rena told me she's pregnant with Max's child. Hello, Paige. Nice to see you again. Hello, Jack. Nice to see you. I'd like you to meet Elliot Carrington. We met a few minutes ago. Elliot Carrington. Journalist? Well, yes, I'm the journalist. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, Pete mentioned your name, and I, I thought it rang a bell. I guess it's certainly a pleasure to meet you. Excuse me. Somebody use this chair? This is me. I've read every single thing that you wrote from Cambodia. Everything. In fact, I was going to buy the rights to a lot of them, make a film of this stuff, you know. It seems like that's what people are into nowadays, you know, the Mideast kind of thing. Except that guy, uh, what's his name, Capacopola, something like that. He beat me to it. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's the break, huh? Yes, I suppose it is. Listen now, Paige, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that I uh, didn't get a chance to talk to you the other night. You know, Pete whisked me out of here before I had a chance to talk. I thought maybe we could uh, get together while I'm here in Houston. Oh, I, I'm awfully busy these days, Jack. I'm too busy for an old friend, huh? Oh, well, I, I just started back to work recently. Well, supposing I give you a call? No, I don't think so. Can't blame a guy for trying. Anyway, I just wanted to stop by and tell you that, uh, well, if you're ever in my area, you know, stop on by. It's nice meeting you, Elliot. Yes, nice to meet you. See you later. Who is that man, Paige? <laughs> 